All right, guys. Um, let's see if we can get this guy open. This is uh, the trailer camera, and uh, wanted to go over the install with you guys on this, and then see uh, one of the main things on these trucks is if you have a, a trailer that's over 32 feet, which I believe is bumper pull. Um, we're gonna find out, but 32 feet bumper pull, you can do the transparent camera view, where basically it just if you look at your uh, center screen, whatever, it looks like you don't have a trailer behind you. So you can see like everything and it, it kind of blends all the cameras together. So I'm gonna play with that, see if I can play with the numbers and um, get that work. And you know, if it doesn't work, kind of tell you some feedback on it. And then also where I'm mounting the, uh, the trailer camera and everything too. So I'm gonna get this box opened up and I'm gonna pull the trailer out and we're gonna run some of the wires and give you some feedback on this and see what it looks like. Okay, this is everything that comes out of the box. So we got zip ties and cleaning pads and uh, those little red things right there, like they're adhesive for the little black, the black, um, whatever you want to call those things. Those run the run the wire through it basically to, to hold it in place. Um, so you can throw a zip tie through that and hold the wire there. So we got that, got some bolts back there. I think that's to mount the, the trailer camera bracket, but we're not worried about that. We're gonna need longer ones anyways um some giant zip ties and to be honest i'm not really sure why we need zip ties that big but whatever uh, i'm probably overlooking something so anyways we'll have um we'll read through the instructions i haven't even opened it up yet i have a really good idea of how it's going to work i just don't know where i'm going to mount it on the back of the trailer yet i know it's going to be in the middle somewhere um anyways there's the camera there's where it plugs into the truck all self-explanatory so yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so here's some of the instructions, right? So basically what it's telling you when you open it up, I mean, it's actually not that many pages, but it's a different language on the, um, on the second one. So it's telling you, hey, you got two options. You can roof mount it or you can um, wall mount it. Specific features require a camera to be mounted on the rear wall. So again, since I'm going to try this, then I'm gonna put it right there. And uh, I don't mind drilling into the back of this trailer. And then if you look, I've read it a couple times, but if you look somewhere here, it's going to say, hey, normally loaded, level ground, all this stuff. We're pretty close to level. Um, and then the ideal position for the center of the camera. So we're going to measure the center of our rear backup camera now. And then the center of this camera on the back should be 3 and 5, 15 sixteenths of an inch higher than the rear camera, 100 millimeters. So what I'm gonna do, since this is kind of, again, maybe a, an issue that I think some guys are gonna have, you're gonna get a trailer, or you're gonna already had a trailer, and you're gonna get a new truck, and you're gonna be like, hey guys, I want to put a trailer on, or a camera on it. Awesome. Okay, let's put it on. Maybe some of you guys can see where I'm going with this. So the reason I say that is, is well, I'm not gonna turn the camera around because it doesn't matter, but I'm throwing 37s, a four inch lift, two inch block in the back. So essentially, stock tires are about like a 34.1, I think. And so going to a 37, the 37s actually measure 37. Um, 35s don't measure 35, just kind of a random note for you guys. But that's gonna be about an inch and a half of height that I'm gonna gain just from tires alone. And then um, I'm going to put a two inch block in the back. So say I kept everything the same, I would be, you know, two, so three and a half inches higher in the rear than I am now, but I might also adjust my hitch and I'm putting the Roadmaster active suspension on there. So the amount of, um, sag, I guess that you get right now in the rear end is going to be different because I don't know, you know, if I'm not keeping these springs on here. So basically what I'm getting at is, is I'm going to have to add about three and a half inches, maybe four inches to that. So this number, instead of three and 15, 16, to say about four inches total is going to be about eight inches. So I'm just going to have to get close. The right thing would be to wait and do this later at that time or redrill the holes. Um, but that's not what I'm going to do. Um, it's important for me to have it on this trip and you know, I want it on there and um, I don't even know for sure that these, the function's gonna work. Like if I had, 
if I had a 32 foot trailer, which I gotta reread these, I don't know if 32 feet is even uh, written in here, but if you have a 32 foot trailer and like you fall within the specifications for this thing to, to have those specific features work, then I would do it and do it the right way. Maybe wait um, or, you know, find a way to mount it, like roof mount it or something for now. And then, you know, go redo it later on or something like that, you know? Um, so anyways, I just wanted to show you guys basically what my point was and why this matters where it gets put. So I'm going to try this feature and um, I don't mind it being lower. But if we just want to give up the feature all, all around, you can put it at the top. So um, I don't know if looking at the instructions and me pointing right now makes a whole lot of sense for you guys, but it should right now. So I'm going to go over here and go get some measurements and, and we're going to get this figured out. For any of you guys that have watched my previous videos, you guys know I know how to read a tape measure very, very well. Um, you also know that I can be pretty sarcastic. So, it looks like the eye of the camera right now is right at, geez, 52 and a quarter inches. It's hard, to, it's hard to get it from the floor right here. I'd say about 52 and a quarter. We're going to write that down. Fifty-two and a quarter inch. We got that info. So we'll grab some tape. Let's go over there and go measure in the back. Okay, guys. So from the ground, this is fifty-two and a quarter, and this is ten and a half inches higher than that. I actually went a little higher than my eight inches. Sorry for all the trash stuff, but the trailer's still leaning forward, which is going to bring it up higher off the ground here. Um, I'm pointing at the ground. So I think that's going to be, I think 10 and a half is going to be our sweet spot. So that's where we're going to go center of camera. And then now we're going to find, we're going to find center left and right. And um, we're going to drop the door. Actually, we're going to drill and then we'll, I'll drop the door and we'll drop the hardware. Okay, we got it kind of dangling on there. So I'm going to throw my hardware on it. And yeah, we should be good to go. So yeah, you can tell on the depth. I think these were two and a half inch. So um, we're gonna definitely have some excess to cut off, which is okay. It gives you a little bit of some angles and stuff. We got this thing pointing down, which there's an arrow right here. You can barely tell on the camera. Um, so I'm gonna get this one shaved off and if it's quick and easy, shave the other one off. Atomic multi-tool here. So, uh, yeah, let's get that cut off. Cool. That ate through that one. So that one's clean, done. And I don't think we need to do this top one. But we'll do it anyway. Possibly. Nah, it's going to scratch that thing all up. So we're going to see if we don't need to do it. But if I need to, I'll go in there and do that, or I got some Dremels and stuff like that. So, yeah, so now that that one's cut off, if that one gets in the way, we'll uh, trim it up, but I don't think it's going to, because the camera doesn't rotate right there. So we just got it kind of rigged up for right now. And then we're going to go hop in the truck. plugged in let's go hop in so basically this is for some of you guys that have played with this already this is going to be painful to you um because you know i set it up all right trailer trailer 40 is all i called it um so we go to status you know vehicle there's my mpg trans temps i have no interior trailer camera but i have their exterior connections blah 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 so when I click here to preview launch camera app you know I get this this I mean so this is all I'm getting right and I don't think that's the transparent view I think that's what I want is this one down here um, so I don't know why or how 
but I'm gonna give it a shot or you know some sort of try I will tell you that I am happy with where the placement is um, on the camera at least it being lower you could see stuff a lot better of like people coming up I don't think it needs to be super high so um, anyways that's kind of a uh, little bit of what's going on so I'm gonna jump off of this for a couple hours it's freaking super hot outside right now I don't know how hot but it's over a hundred and I'm gonna go chill out and when it cools down and I do a little bit more research um, I'm gonna play with it and I'm gonna get underneath the truck when it's cooler tonight and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get all the wiring all done well forgive all the mess but finally got it all wired ran it through some compartments and stuff and I put it where this other guy that owned, owned it before he put um put this here I put too big of a hole so this is temporary until I until I get that fixed and then the stuff doesn't like to stick to the diamond plate very well but it is what it is tied it all up in the bed and well as you know these are not made to be fifth wheel happy uh, we're gonna use that term <laughs> I don't know what else to say they decided to only put this you know in the bed so we got our uh, seven pin there and then we got both trailer camera plugs there which would be perfect if you had a conventional trailer I mean it was pretty much like this truck was only set up to tow 30 32 foot conventional trailers and no fifth wheels um, so anyways this is a little bit of what the bed looks like I will tell you with this being the standard bed for the 2020 and newer you don't need a slider um, I have plenty of room. I had just as much room, if not more room, from the uh, from the ladder here to the cab with the slider all the way back before. So I am glad that I listened to some other people's recommendations and not buying a slider hitch from B&W. So that's awesome. And that's the 25,000 pounder. But yeah, I, the whole entire thing, the wires and everything took me a little while to run underneath the trailer. Um, this is kind of what I opted for. This is the angle that they they ask you to do. And I need to clean up all of this in the back. I mean, everything's really dirty. Trailer hasn't been used in a while, but I did opt to go down this route through a couple down there. I mean, I know it doesn't look the best maybe, but just for when the ramp comes down, I wanted to have some play right there. And then obviously I wanted it out of the way. So um, I don't really know if there's much of a way to change that in the way that it looks, but we did that anyways. So the inside of the truck, I imagine is gonna be the same with the camera view. I'm just gonna have to find a remedy for this. I mean, having this tailgate, I don't know if any of you guys run it like, this um that's an option also possibly just trying to think if like that would make sense or get caught on anything so we will see let me know what you guys do i'm gonna have to really think about how i do this make sure that i do it right make sure it doesn't get caught on anything but i, I do want to remedy this problem and kind of figure this out and see you know what we could do to fix it i would really love for it to be in the bed right there there's got to be a way to pigtail it off and run run it through that or something like that change that plug out because i don't need a flat four in the back of the truck that makes no sense at all like there's literally a flat four back there i don't know who would ever use that anyways a little blown away Well, same thing in here. But it's not doing the, um, it's not doing that mode, so. Oh well, I, I again, I don't know how that works, how it calibrates. I might even need to be driving for it to calibrate. Um, Cause I know people were saying you had to put it to settings. I thought there was somewhere in here where you could put the, 
Story of my life, dude. A dog is famous on YouTube. He doesn't even know it. Um, let's try that. I don't even know what that does. Anyway, so... Yeah, guys, it looks like... Looks like that's it. I will say that I appreciate all these cameras that I have, but... It doesn't look like we're gonna get a transparent camera mode. I assume. Again, I haven't driven the truck at all with that camera on on the road. So I'll get some, some seat time in about a week on it. But right now it doesn't look like that's gonna it's gonna help us at all. Alright guys, um I hope you enjoyed the video. And um I'm gonna keep bringing you guys content. I just want to talk about the trailer camera because I didn't see a lot of videos out there. Um, obviously, you know, measure the holes, whatever, you drill it, run the wires, plug the wires in. I mean, there's not really like a full instruction manual for you on that. But yeah, it was just something I wanted to bring up to you guys and um, kind of give you some feedback and uh, other than just buying it and you're like, I don't know if it fits. The last thing I will say when I was looking for the part numbers, there used to be like three part numbers, I think. And they all superseded to one part number. I don't know what changed. Uh, I really don't know much about why or whatever. But there's a couple part numbers that are in there that are older and superseded to a new one. It could even be just somebody else is now making them from GM. And they maybe had a shortage and now they're resupplying them. And they came up with a new part number. And it could be pretty close to the same product. Don't know. Um, but just keep that in mind. Should be able to look that up on the internet. Should be able to like Google it and and find it so yeah that's it guys subscribe please i know i tell you guys every every video um but when i go in on the back end in 98 99 percent of the people that view my videos aren't subscribed it's like a stab in the heart because this stuff isn't easy to do I'm taking time out of my day uh i love doing it for you guys but um you know heck all you gotta do is click a little button for me it really help out and um yeah that's it so let me know if you guys got any solutions for the uh, for the camera system. If you guys got any opinions, uh, put them in the comments below. And uh, I'll catch you guys next time.